Now, this is my very last video besides my podcast and my motherfucking bring that ass here boy on that DC Young Fly Town. Bro, look, I'm not trying to go back and forth with you niggas. You niggas got a nigga whole family worry about a nigga, nigga wife, nigga kids. Bro, y'all scaring people that's scary. They women and children. Scare me, scare the boogeyman. You feel me? Scare the boogeyman. I don't mind all that woofing and talking, and that's why I entertain the bullshit. Cause I know you don't want to play with me. You niggas got fake pages. Unlock that page so I can smack your grandma. Then it's a nigga on Instagram talking about my teeth, bro. I got just got a gap in my mouth, and I don't believe in fixing nothing that ain't broke. I got pretty white teeth. Feel me? My shit ain't buttery or nothing. You did. I open it up for you. I just got a gap in my teeth, man. I got perfect teeth other than that. I got Hollywood teeth other than that gap. I wish I would close it. Like how Nars walked around with that chipped tooth for all them years. Man, I wish I would satisfy a pussy by fixing mine. Nah, that's what I like. It's me. All of me. You niggas is whores and bitches like my baby mama. How the fuck can you get your kids to rap on me? Daddy, yo, and Kiara, my blood daughter. Man, look here, little girl. I bought you a Hyundai when you turned old enough to drive and got your permit. You tore it up because you ain't understand what the oil light mean when lights come on on the car, it mean change the oil. So daddy went and bought you a new Jeep. <clears throat> and you let a nigga rob somebody in my Jeep because you want to play ghetto games and activities with your mama and brother. Bro, miss me with that. I already called my lawyer. I took you out of my wheel. That's on my kids. That's on George Faye. That's on Noonie and King, Kiara. See, do Kiara or King give you anything? You got to thank them T-Baby kids. Man, them people stingy than a bitch. They ain't going to give your black ass nothing. You riding with daddy-o. Him and Chad need to pay that lawyer, Miss Monique Sparks, in full because I ain't got a quarter on it because they too grown over there. Daddy or they grown. Tell him to help you pay that lawyer with your mama. Or either you go to Taco Cabana and work and pay because daddy ain't got it no more. Anytime you call me a whole ass nigga and I'm your daddy, you got to show me I'm going to show you a whole ass nigga. So I'm going to talk to you in about 10 years. You know, I don't give a damn about nothing. I did my own mama like that. You fuck over me, I'm fucked up by that. I don't care nothing about talking to you. I got one life to live, and this one right here, mine. It's not yours or nobody else's. So we're going to leave that at that. Yes, yeah, true enough, you was my daughter. I don't got no daughter that is real. I just bought you some $10,000 earrings for Christmas. <laughs> and you turn around and spit in my face and shit in my hand. Fuck you, little girl. Fuck you too, daddy. Oh, you going to die just because you that dumb. You a dope fiend. You forgot when we went to California to go finish your mixtape with 808. You popped up a $200 worth of oxygen, Roxy Cotton, and drunk up a tin of syrup. <laughs> bro, you a dope fiend just like your mama, bro. And boy, fuck you and your daddy, Victor Byron Gilbert Copeland. <laughs> fuck your uncle, too. Uh, what's that bitch now? He's Jeremy Lockett. That nigga's a real bitch. Why you think D. Fee and Mad Man Charles them don't fuck with him no more? Because he's an internet nigga. I'm not the real internet nigga. You niggas is internet niggas. That's why you believe in him so much. But that man, a natural hoe, he will shoot his pistol. That's why Vic trusts him and believe in him. But y'all rob Vic all the time. I don't know how he ain't caught on it. That's how you can't come up. You got a bunch of jewelry and some old school slabs, playboy. You got to catch up. I got a three mansions and 12 rental properties and three more I'm building and I'm building my mama new house. You fake, I'm the truth. We not going to never get that fucked up, Victor Byron, give a Copeland. We ain't going to never get that fucked up. My son, Richard, and you pussy. Facts. Free Dizzle. That's why you fall out with every good nigga that'll bust that gun for you. Free that nigga Dizzle. Dizzle got plenty of care packages down there, because guess what? Blick sending it. You niggas hoes try to make me and that man fall out. You too rap a lot, Big E. You's a bitch. And I'm finna post your 
your text message, all of a sudden you concerned about my health when it's some gangster shit. Don't worry about my health, bitch. I'm just a diabetic. Bitch, that don't mean I can't blow your face off, pussy. My, I'm a real shotter, but I ain't united with a motherfucking thing. I'm dolo in this world. Me and my family, if it ain't blood, it don't matter. Straight up. The rest of you pussies will do just what you did. Identify your shooter and tell when them closed doors on. Lil C, T, M, I, and Booby, y'all hoes to me. You was my big brothers, both of y'all. But the love of money, money, I don't care about money. I ain't never had none. So when you get out of means, I really still don't give a damn about it. So you a hoe in my book and fuck your granny, pussy. You too, booby. Since you, bro, you can't even go to Fifth Ward. That's your own hood. You on that Meek Mill shit. You can't go home. Them niggas want to kill you. They already shot you and tried to kill you. I hope you go back to Fifth Ward and try to pay them niggas and reach out to your old allies. Nobody respect you no more. Not even them niggas in Atlanta who you turned me on to. Nobody respects you guys. Not, you stole Sean Ho. Well, that wasn't even Sean Ho, because Sean fired the hoe. You picked, you saved the whole life and think you're going to run off with it. Boy, you was a super goofy clown. Then don't want to call my phone back when I text you. So I got to add your bitch ass out if you think I'm scared of you. I'm the real boogeyman. <laughs> Pussy. Your money ain't long as mine no more. Pussy. Pussy, pussy, pussy. And Willie, I pray that y'all get Willie to try it. Because I box Willie at Stanker's Gym for a quarter million dollars right now with one hand behind my back. And I swear that fight ain't going to be close. I'm a dozen by the third round. You niggas is whores. Not hoes, but whores. You sell your body like a gender kin, which I walked up on him in my little brother restaurant the other day, leading in country, my little two little brother. Boy, Shay, you better find you a new man. My Rose Rush and Ben is paid for that Hellcat, that Durango, and that little baby Ben. You know you helped get the loan to get that Ben. Come see a player one time. You did? <laughs> I'm going to fuck you niggas hoes, but I'm going to take you niggas hoes and show them how to be treated because I'm single again. Y'all got me in divorce court. So I'm going to take your whole look in since you that hard. Y'all got me and my bitch August, so I'm going to take your whole kid. For real, you brought some drama to my household, and I'm married, pussy. This is my last IGTV video, period, in life. I'm from the mood of Miami. I just ain't get fat, but I'm a gangster, bitch, and I'm rich, so I'm moving to Miami. I ain't scared of shit. You niggas scared of me. You know the truth. But this is my last video. And Victor Byron, Gilman Coleman, and Kelvin Pickett, because your mama don't know who none of y'all daddy is. She brown and your daddy black in the motherfucker, but you yellow like Vic. You tell me who your daddy is, Kelvin Pickett, a.k.a. Uncle Yo, Daddy Yo, pimping on some dolphin hoes. They don't get it. All y'all on drugs, bitch. The bitch gonna do anything. $40 is what it takes. Don't ever get that fucked up, young nigga. Your mama was a $40 hoe. Period. Like them city girls say, young Miami. Your mama was a $40 hoe. Fuck steroid, Vic, Chris, Lil D. Fucking Laro, Emo, it ain't a dick she didn't suck. So quit playing with me. Yo, I'm right, your mama and them wrong. You might don't want to hear the truth, but that bitch ran off with my money with another nigga and expect for forgiveness. No, God forgive, I don't. I can forgive you, but I can't never forget that. Now one of you bitches. Chase a good man. I still got no love in my heart for you, boy. You just a straight up hoe. You only fight niggas that you know. That means you scary Jerry, just like you was in the CUNY homes. You hear me? Just like you was. We know the real Chaser Guzman. Ooh, we, you got the sauce. You might even like that dick suck by them boys. I just ain't found that part out yet. But any nigga that's supposed to be a shooter, and you can't prove you got one body, little boy go sit your ass down. Everybody don't go for that shit like Vic. Oh, I shot him last night, bro, but he still live. But I got on his ass, though, because you heard somebody else shot him. Bro, uh, work that shit with somebody else. You might be them federal laws working with the government, always talking about denial. It might be your whole ass that's working with them laws, trying to take the hood down with Dini Weenie and TYP nose. It might be you suckers. Square business. I'm putting two and two together. It's a new sheriff in town. Putting two and two together on you, little bastard. And Scott Black Robbo, 
Little pretty pussy baby. Little pretty pussy baby with them little dreadlocks. Scott Block Robbo, S-B-R-O-B-O. -O. You know you's a hoe.